back to Yosemite Valley on this wonderful Friday. Today I'm going to reveal the first part of the build that the guest builder has done. And now without further ado, the guest builder was the awesome Haribo. You know that I've been checking out his very own project, the rebuild of uh, the mountain zoo in Halle. And today you can see what he's actually doing when he's not rebuilding stuff and recreating stuff. He's actually doing some absolutely fantastic stuff. Now, before we go in, let me just quickly tell you. So Haribo reached out to me if I, if I uh, would be open to this challenge and handing this over to him. Um, and you know, in general, if I do this, and even though in the past I haven't really thought about that too much, I um, really, felt the need for a little break of Yosemite for myself. Um, mainly to just give myself also the room for some new ideas and also to, to bring this project forward in a different way uh, so that I have to change my um, my way of building a little bit again. Um, just kind of challenging myself as well. But he did an outstanding job and he even did so much that I decided to split that into episodes in fact. And the second one will be on Sunday, already giving you a little bit of a hint. And the other new stuff is my new microphone. Now this is the new Elgato Wave and I really hope that you guys will be able to tell the difference. I have had some very good experience in the live stream these days and I also feel like from my recording testing that this microphone is for me a game changer. I'm gonna talk about this in, in the later stage of uh, some other videos again. Uh, I don't wanna annoy you too much right now as of, it, uh, as, as of now, but um, I can already tell you that this is a huge game changer. But now, um, before we go in, Haribo and I, we did uh, had a little chat about what I want to do. And as I told you in the last episode of this entrance, which you can see has been slightly changed. You can see some buildings peek over the kind of uh, uh, roofs of this one. And before I, I do show this to you, I want to mention that I really told him that I, I wanted to have this vibe of a national park. While the other side of the zoo is kind of the more zoo-ish and rebuilt and more modern part of it, I really wanted to make this all feel a bit more like really straight out of a national park, you know, that it just kind of has been turned into a zoo by how it was and not really changed too much. But now we talked already too long. Let's just go in, right, and experience what he's done. Also, excuse the performance. We are hitting a point in the zoo, which, um, yeah, is um, uh, starting to lag a little bit in the when we have it on play. It's still somewhat 30 FPS, so it's still okay, but it, yeah, it could be better. Now, before we go to the left-hand side, you can see some wonderful um, little boxes. Um, I want to call them some little huts um, you can see these kitchen things um, for those of you who have seen the uh, the tour of the one for Hala Zoo you know these things he has changed them according to my zoo I love them a lot I love them they are unfortunately not functional when well, we could do some little stuff so that people at least get some stuff from here I will potentially do this later but yeah as of now it's not really functioning um, but I think they just look good and they feel but look at these huts guys just look at look at that it's just like 100% perfect Yosemite Valley National Park vibe. These lovely uh, little huts over here, I really kind of planned to do them uh, in the past as well, but he has done them without even that I mentioned this, and it's just, they look stunning, don't they? And just like the detail in here is just so cool. Like, look at these, even some window shutters, like these kind of jealousies, I don't even know if you say that in English this way, um, but I just love them. And all these little, like little wooden pallets here for uh, heating up in the winter, just all that kind of um, timber wood that you use in your oven. And yeah, just in general, look at it, it's just looking so cool. They really, they really seem to be like these things you do see quite often in these holiday villages. You can rent some of those and then, um, yeah, just, just have an awesome time in the National Park. I really, really do like that. And if you just go a little bit over here, you can see it's basically the same building, just uh, slightly changed and um, yeah, it just fits so well. Also how he's done like this little, look, just look at the pattern with the with the rocks down here, how the how the texture merges together and with a little bit of foliage, a stellar job in the foliage. Even here, like even there's barely any grass uh, peeking through these wonderful marble uh, steps. It seems like marble, I think, what did he actually use here it seemed like um I, th I think these are windows right I, I would guess these are yeah these are windows but just like reuse i i know that haribo has a quite strange obsession for uh, uh for windows to be used as walls and stuff uh but yeah it's, it's really 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 amazing and what you can tell also from some of the things here you might be able to tell that this over here is a p-fall sitting in here which for whatever reason is sunken into its own enrichment item, which is a bit weird. Um, but yeah, he cleverly used this thing as a little playground. 
And this whole area over here is a peafowl habitat, very nicely hidden. So you have them free roaming, uh, which I really love. We had this, as you remember, maybe, I don't know if you remember, but we had this um, happening in the front of the zoo uh, on the parking lot. But I scrapped this idea because I wasn't like too happy about it. But yeah, um, you, can, you can really see them moving around in here now. I really love that. He obviously used some elephant grass uh, to make sure that they cannot escape. So the, the general trick, but yeah, it's just looking so so cool. There you can see there's another peafowl just coming from over there. I love it that they just free roam around. And then you have this um, very cool little chimney here uh, at the outside. You do have these fireplaces, as I figured, um, in Yosemite Valley and also in these national parks. It's kind of where people do barbecue outside. You do have these things, so in the wintertime they can still sit outside and have a bit of a chill atmosphere because of the heat coming from this chimney or the fireplace. It really is pretty cool. And then he did this outstanding bridge over here. Let me just show you that bridge from the side first because you have the waterfall in the back and just, I love it. It just really is exactly the vibe I wanted to have in this zoo and at, at exactly this position. Um, the main reason for why I'm such a big fan of that one is it blocks the wolf um, habitat away very nicely, very organic. And we just have some elephant grass in there. But it it kind of gives the idea that the wolves are living free, as I was already telling, that this is kind of the free area. Oh, look at that. They just have a wonderful... Were well, they just fighting around the food? That looked like if they were fighting about uh, the food, which honestly is one of the features I would love to see as well. Like if you have a lot of... Um, a lot of small wolves, for example, like little cubs, uh, they are always fighting for the food. That would be a cool feature, like kind of a fun fight for the food, which is not fun, which is training for the real life, but still... I think I would really love to see that. Uh, anyhow, so you can see the bridge, um, all the little details in here. I love, I love how he did this pattern. Just look at that. I love them. Just easily placed. It's, you know, it's not that many pieces, but it's very effective for the design. And it kind of really suits into the overall um, feel of this little cozy village. And I mean, just look at the... I mean, how lo how does this look? It just looks straight out of a catalog, you know? We can book some trips to... Holiday trips to... Uh, yeah, to just uh, Yosemite Valley. And look at the freaking... Okay, this is something I wanted to show you. We are not going into the actual habitat he's doing. Um, look at the rock work. I mean, I praised his rock work already in the last episode uh, showing his Halazoo, but that is just kind of something else. I think Mike would be more than proud. Just look at that. Look, it just... It is so good. Like, how this all feels so natural. And then he did this water stream over here. And that is one of the ideas we talked about. Some of you guys commented that in my video, and I will definitely change this waterfall to really, oh my lot, um, to really get a little bit closer to this style. So we will have this openly carved uh, kind of, uh, yeah, it almost is like um, erosion, okay? So how the water goes down and kind of forms this little, um, ditch here by 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 over time, you know, it's kind of how this is created and I want I want to do this here as well You know that we just have the waterfall come tumbling down a lot more deep in here And then you really have the feeling that it kind of carved its way into this big area rather than having the stones up here I just you know the idea why I did it that way was mainly to make sure that this is raised a little bit and you can see it, but I think reality-wise it makes sense to just bring it a bit down. But anyway, since I will still pause this project um, for a few more days, um, it's not gonna happen too soon, but yeah, just look at that. And obviously, this is not really everything he's done, he's even done more. Look at this wonderful little um, kind of ca water catching bazaar, I wanna call it. Um, it just comes all the way up and it kind of goes along with our road we've placed last time. He really used my area to the max and he kind of brought this to this point over here, which is totally random because he he actually made this a little bridge which um, completely disappears in the overall layout. If you, if you have a look, it just kind of feels absolutely floaty and natural, but he just kind of broke the mood a little bit by placing um, this bridge over here, which is super cool. And then um, the water just comes from over here and just goes below that one, just gives this wonderful feeling of a more natural area where you have really built yourself around the nature. And then we follow that stream down here, a few little steps where the water is tumbling down, very nicely done indeed. And then, yeah, if we go over here, he kind of reused my little trick I used in, uh, yeah, in the um, jaguar habitat, in the black panther habitat, he just used the same pieces and then it kind of is the same pipework. It makes sense, they use it all over the zoo. And then I 
think it ends, where is it again? Oh yeah, it's over here and comes into this wonderful water stream. And again, look at the rock work and the nature work. And this kind of fills that water buzzer over here. Like, oh my God, look at that. This is, that is insane. I want to keep that as my thumbnail. Oh God, this is just too good. Can we just quickly do the thumbnail because that just looks insane. Um, let me just kind of rotate the sun so we have even more direct sunlight in here. Ah, it's, you know, it's, there's not that much I can do. I think I'm going to go with this a bit more like that. And then we use the, I mean, you cannot really see that, but it's fine. I will just do it that way. Oh God, this looks absolutely gorgeous. This is just incredibly gorgeous over here. I'm just going to use it that way. You can see a few more p-files. Oh my God, this is just the perfect thumbnail. Um, anyways, sorry. I just, sorry for all of you, but I just needed to do this. It's just too perfect. Look at how the people, I would love to see it opening its feathers, but I've, I've basically never seen that in the game. Not a single time. Could you do that for me? Could you do me the favor? Not really. Just running away from me. Yeah, just do it for me. Come on, you, you, you can do it. I know you can. Just don't be such a lazy people. That would be... Oh my lord! No! Wait! Holy crap! That's the first time ever. But it's the wrong way around. Can we just rotate the sun now? So that it is in, in the front? Ah, somewhat evening light. Ah, let's see if I can catch that one. Sorry, I'm just using that now to make the thumbnail. But honestly, I've, I've seen it so seldomly that it really feels like something special to me right now. Um, okay, we're just going to snap that. It's not the perfect lighting, though. I, I got to admit, I, I, I just, I, I think I saw better lighting. Um, and now let's just bring that back. I think the lighting from the front is, is somewhat nice that way. Yeah, you could have just rotated yourself, right? That would have been lovely. <laughs> I've never seen that happening. So what about you, mate? Can, can, can you just do it again? Because that is like the, this positioning would be the best, okay? You just do it over here. That'd be awesome. Can you please not run through my people? That'd be awesome. Thank you again. Um, anyhow, there's more to discover. Let's quickly do this. Um, I just love this roundish little platform over here, by the way. Just look at how nicely he's done it from the inside. It's just not, you know, it's not just this kind of simple little thing. He even had this little roundish tilted. What piece is that even, actually? Oh, I think that's the in-game roof. Yeah, but still, it looks pretty damn cool from the inside. Is it actually the inside roof? Oh, I was praising him from the work, but it's actually, it is the piece in-game. It's still some decent work, though. Is it the piece, though? Or is it just so nicely, seamlessly done? No, no, that's the in-game piece. There's no way you can do it that seamless without the texture fighting. But it's still looking really cool. Really, really cool. It is, though, right? I'm not, I'm like, okay, no, it is. It's definitely, it's definitely, definitely the right one. Okay, cool. Um, people running around. No people doing cool stuff here. Okay. Because we do also have another animal in here, and that is the reindeer. And, oh, boy, do I love the habitat, because... When he showed this to me, he was a little bit, hey, it's maybe a little bit too simple, I don't know, um, and it's just the space they need. But honestly, though, it, this habitat for me is the perfect habitat because that is like, this is the, you know, the core of what I wanted to have this more natural. This looks like a absolutely, like, glued into the actual park itself the national park you know this is kind of the fencing you would expect this is how the nature would look like what you expect and i can it's totally believable to say that this is just the pathway that you know went around and that was just a little bit of a you know that was just a park that was just nature and then just decided to put some reindeers in here just give them a little backstage house and just a very basic shelter some food um stations over here and that is basically it okay so the animals are more or less native anyhow so uh, well, they're not necessarily native, but I think they can just easily use it. Oh, look at that wonderful jump. But it's, ah, oh, man, I just love that so much. I'm just loving it even so much that I, oh god, I don't even know if I want this as a screenshot or thumbnail because it's still looking so damn cool. But again, there's so much more great stuff he took. I'm, you know, maybe I'm not even choosing the screenshot right now. It is insane. He's done such an outstanding job. I really hope that you guys will comment the the crap out of him, praising him the whole time, because, oh my god, he did such a fantastic job in Yosemite Valley. I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm still completely blown away by how precisely he he followed the instructions to keep, but I, I didn't really get, give him too many instructions, I just said it has to feel like it's straight out of Yosemite, and that 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 is just the briefing I gave him, and, and he just delivered on that, like, on point. Oh man, it's just like, okay, I gotta have to 
Is there something that... Mm, oh, I think it's because of the pathway. Maybe I'm just going to put something in here to, to level that out. Anyways. um, Yeah, it's just like... I mean, this could also be like a cool little situation. Look at that. Can we just zoom in a little bit? Uh, if it wasn't about the shadow, you know. That's some of the little things I would love to change. Um, uh, be able to change, but... Uh, I think there's no way I can rotate it in a way that... Yeah, some evening light looks kind of cool-ish as well. So that could work. Just zoom in a little bit. Frame this nicely. Um, the thing is, I, I will be able to brighten this up in, in, in Photoshop, but it will not look at, as cool as the as the noon lighting. It's a bit unfortunate that you just cannot rotate everything. But anyways. Okay, so then he also did the, the other side of it where you have like basically the backside. I love the backside of that little simple shelter. And um, yeah, there's one more building I just wanted to show you because he just built that nicely indeed over here. That is a little museum. It doesn't really have a function yet. There is a toilet in there so that people do go and it kind of gives you the illusion as if they're in here. But one thing he did, he used the many, many pieces. <laughs> Look at that. I love this pattern. Um, it's one of these patterns I wanted to do here as well. I always decided against it because of all the pieces you will be able to, uh, will be, uh, will be necessary to be used. But well, since... He just did it. Uh, I think I just love it. Um, yeah, let's see how many pieces are these. My computer is like, no, but oh my god, look at it. I can't even. I mean, it's okay. 910. I think the game just overall processes pieces a lot better than Plan Code did, so I think it's fine. But still, so many pieces. I love also what he's did, done here with the with the trunks. I love it. Just gives this a bit of more timber vibe. I, I just I, I'm sorry. I, I just I, I just can't stop praising him. I'm I'm actually kind of urgently looking for some criticism. Just like not too much to find, to be honest. Like I don't like these signs too much, but you know I. I they, they give a little bit of a nice feeling to it. I'm just not a big fan of those in general. It's nothing against him. Um, and also, um, the, the entrance, we talked about that I want to finish it, so we cannot give him any criticism about uh, not finishing it properly. He did do some work about this build and makes it a little nicer with the outside kind of pillars holding out. Um, yeah, no, I really I really don't think there's too much I can criticize at all if, if I want even if I if I would love to, but you know, there's also um, this little outside area. Maybe we just look at this fireplace. All of that one as well, um, kind of cool. Maybe we, we could some put some smaller trunks in here as well. And then you have this little very nice cosmetic staircase going down to this little pier. And then um, oh, actually there's another little uh, functioning building which is a toilet. I love that. It's just like again, it, this is so much national park vibe. It's this completely unnecessary viewing point over here. Um, but I think it just the cool bit about it is, look at look at this positioning over here. You can really, I think we just need to go close to see the waterfall just emerging once. There you go. Just move away. I hope that we are not too far away. We are too far away. Okay, never mind. You would be able actually to catch this view quite nicely. I don't know if we need to zoom in. I'm not even sure what is the furthest distance we need to go. Just come on, do up here. Okay, just move back a little bit. Uh, this is already the draw distance. Okay, never mind then. That's a bit of a pity, but yeah, no, okay. Actually, this would be a very cool location to look over to the other side and just uh, have all the habitats. And it really feels like a huge valley now, which I'm, oh my lord, I'm just such a big fan of that. And yeah, I, I love how he, he used the three meter uh, wide uh, path technique. Just something else to point out. And yeah, oh my god, the rock work. Look at the rock work. It is again so much on point. Have you seen too many of those things? I haven't. This is looking so cool because of this like very um, rough little it almost looks like a little bit as a like an allergy i don't know i know exactly which part of which rock that is it's actually this left hand part of this rock if you're just going to show this to you because I, I love that one so much um there you go and he just kind of moved this all together to only use this pattern to create like a new pattern which animal has escaped uh excuse moi oh this is actually very unfortunate for the capuchin monkeys I uh, won't care too much about it, but let let this animal kill the others. I, I, I have deactivated that, so it doesn't matter. And I'm not going to save this file, so it doesn't matter either way. Um, but yeah, let's zoom out a little bit and have a look to what Haribo has done. It's quite, quite a nice area he's covered, but oh my lord, look at the layout. It is so organic. The floor of it is so organic with the parking lot, with the bridge. And oh my god, he just, he has outdone himself. 
And if I tell you that Sunday's episode is getting even better, if, if, but maybe he's going to finish this project. I'm just going to do anything. <laughs> it's maybe, maybe that's better. It's just like Harry will finish your summit. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But I'm, guys, I cannot even tell you how happy I am to, to, you know, open up and to give him the file. It, it just opened up and it, 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 it gave me so many ideas already. Like I've, I've got so many things in my head now, what I want to do with this file. Once I get back to it, I am, yeah, I'm just incredibly inspired. And it's just, I also like this little detail over here, okay? So this is just like one of these things I love because the, you, you don't really see that that often. Uh, you know, if you've seen Disney's uh, in the Imagineers and you've seen the episode one, you know exactly what that is. Like when Disney uh, built his park, um, the engineers asked him where to put the pathway. And Disney was like, don't put pathways, just wait a few months to see where the people go and then pave it. And this is what happens. People use shortcuts to get somewhere. So if you were an impatient kid and you want to go here to, to, to see the reindeers, you, you're never going to take that road over here. You're not. You're just going straight through here. And this is also why there is no foliage. Like if there is a minor criticism I want to go uh, and give here, maybe it would have been cool to just, you know, push this a little bit more in and don't make it like so obvious and just a little bit more mm, natural, I want to say. But in general, the idea, I love that so, so much. And it's just really, really nice. And look at the people roaming around. Yeah, okay. I mean, I, I think you've heard from the commentary that I'm pretty blown away. Um, but now, guys, let me know in the comments down below what you think of Harry Bo's build. Like, full credits to his build. I will also link his um, Steam page down below because he doesn't have a YouTube channel. He does it for its own passion. He wants to be interacting with the community. He's a really active member of Bronation as well. And honestly, though, give him all the praise you can with, like, rating and liking his um, assets in the workshop because his assets are phenomenal, really great stuff. And... Um, yeah, just in general, I really hope you enjoyed today's uh, little showcase. And again, on Sunday, there will be the second part of it. I'm not going to reveal what that is. You will see that from, you know, we'll see that from the from the thumbnail anyways. But it's going to be very, very amazing. And it's, yeah, something unexpected, but really cool. And um, yeah, also a little bit uh, different thing. Um, if you guys like to catch me live, I, I am doing regular uh, live streams on that other platform. And you haven't subscribed there yet, make sure to do so. So you get the notification when I'm live and you can do it. Also, if you're not subscribing on this channel for whatever reason, make sure to do so because then you get also the updates and, you know, you help the channel. It's very cool. I would so, so much appreciate that. And um, yeah, that's all I can say for today. I really hope you guys are having a blast this weekend. So um, have a wonderful weekend ahead and I talk to you in the next one.